And here is the visor I've bought for my Judge Dredd helmet, as I've seen on several other YouTube videos and on um, forums like RPF. It's just a motorbike helmet, and the idea is you turn it upside down, there's the bottom of your visor, and it just goes in. Let me try this while I've got a camera on, and I'll show you that I've got to make some cuts to it. Now, as well, on the edges, you've got those clips which would go on a normal motorbike helmet so I'll probably have to dremel them off but also if I put this in which is kind of tight there you go so that goes in like that now the one thing that's interesting is if I put it to one side can you see there the raised parts there well that goes further in let me show you the closer I don't know if that's coming up at all because that is where the badge is now when this goes in it goes around like that it should go up about there just a bit under where the eye sockets are but it's being pushed back because where this is curved and that is straight they are colliding so I'm going to need to cut them so I'm going to need to cut off about an inch or so off the top of the visor, about there. And also when it goes on, see just at the edge there where the eye socket is, that's going to have to be up about there. So that's going to be it. With that top part about there cut off because of those curves stopping the straight edge, uh, sorry, those curves there stopping the straight edge going up. And that should be what I need to do next. So there's going to be more dremeling. And then once I've got this cut to size, then I'll hot glue it in place. I'll put foam all around it, and that should be it. But that is the next step. Just get my face on like that. So that gives me a rough idea of where I am and what I've got to do next. And here is the visor now cut. You'll notice I've also cut the edge connectors off. So this is the part that I cut off, like I said, I measured it, as you've seen, so I've just taken that off, and now we just turn it upside down, and that will be the, uh, the bottom of our visor for my helmet. Now I'm going to have to stick it on pause while I put that in, because it's definitely a two-man job to get that to bend and go inside there, so one second. And there it is inside. I've literally just put it inside now. So, just to show you the bend of it, try and get, keep it in the middle as much as I can. And then, what it's going to do is, it should, if you measure it correct, there you go, that's what it's going to look like. There isn't a space there at the eyes, just push that up a bit. There you go, so there's no space at the edges. It can go up nice. Close and quite flush. Just like that. Even if I put it back a bit, give some space. Just like that. So those measurements worked out well. So all I'm going to do now is take that sticker off and then contact glue it in place. All around the edges, all there. That'll keep it solid because once this is on, I won't really want this coming off. I could put in um, various things to put it in, screws or what have you, but no. Once this is on, this will be my first helmet, this will be staying on. You can see so it will be contact glued all around the edges there. And then when that's on, to put the foam on the sides, I've got standard foam that we use for cosplay armour. And that will be going just on the insides. Now this is a quick rough cut I made. That will be going just like, roughly like that, like I said, very roughly, Go up to the edge, down to the bottom, and that, I'll have this lower part all to go around the bottom, with another part cut there, and then the rest will be foam inside, so it's comfy. That 
so far is where we are. So the next part, contact glue. And let's see how that goes. And here it is, glued in place. And once again, because it's a proper motorbike visor, it really attracts the dust and the fingerprints. So I'll have to deal with that. But as you can see, the eye, the eye socket, it's fully flush right up to the edge. It reflects everything, so it's really cool for that. And unfortunately, I couldn't get it to stick to the front, just there. As you can see, there's a space. But on the plus side, other judges' helmets do that. So mine up won't stick out. So here we go, focus. See there? That space there. But I did put a little hot glue just up there. Just up there, but you can't see it. And it does look awesome. Now let me show you inside to ruin the magic. As you can see, a little bit of hot glue action going on there. There's about four sticks of hot glue here. I just covered everything. Originally I was going to use contact adhesive, but with this curve of the visor, it's solid there, but then at these edges, it raises out. So I thought if I got hot glue, I could just fire it down and it could link the helmet to the visor itself. And then around every other corner here, every edge I mean, I've just poured hot glue around everything. The only place I can't get it is right in the middle. And that is where I did that cut you saw earlier. You can see it there. In fact, that's a really good way of seeing the cut. And now you can see why. The outside of the helmet with those curves to the inside. And there's even some hot glue. See just in the middle there, which is just under that, it's about right in the middle there. So that just further strengthens it. And now that's hot glued in as well, the helmet doesn't feel as, well, as fiberglassy as it did before. Now it feels really kind of solid. And now it's time to start cutting out the foam so this will sit properly on the head and cover all that hot glue up. So what I am using for the main parts of the foam because when you see this helmet in the film there is a let me just show you here there is some foam or there's some liner that sits like that in the helmet now for this for my version of it i'm just using standard craft foam and i've made a template that i've measured just in the helmet before i put the visor in and here it is, all done, all the foam added. So let's go through it. So let me just give you an overview there so you can look into it. These are all parts of a foam tile, floor tile. Didn't want to use anything else. Foam keeps heat in. The idea of this is that it's light, won't move and won't trap heat. I make you feel sick after a few hours of wearing it. So going back to where we were just before, I cut those tiles off. You can see there, if I can focus in, you can see how I got the edges as smooth as possible and beveled the edges themselves. You can see where it rises up as it goes over the visor. So all I did was I just put a spot of hot glue in, just put a spot of hot glue in made sure it was in uh, at the bottom, made sure it was in place, then put some more hot glue there and some more hot glue at the bottom, going along the edges. You're gonna get through a few sticks of this, of course. Then, of course, I did the same side. And once again, you can see how smooth-ish I got the edges and how close to the bottom as well, I got to the bottom of the helmet I got them. I'll focus in on that. There you go. So yeah, I've tried to get it as close as possible all the way around. So going back to that side. And then when that was on, I needed a part for the back. So once again, this is just a another square piece, nearly dropped it. And that's why you've got those spaces there, which 
also help with the air so they don't trap any air in so now with the three major parts on it was just making it comfy to wear and not having it wobble about because it's kind of wide when you stick it on your head if you saw I put an Instagram video on as you turn your head it's just too big and it'll just stay in place so just another two pieces let me see if I can see it in that light there you go so there's one piece there and one piece there see there one piece there that's just for like a band around the head and then there was another piece once again these are all off cuts now we're just dealing with off cuts now one piece there with another piece there and a third piece there they're just to keep it on the head instead of having a full headband around the front just as long as it can keep it three quarters of the way around that's secure there's a tiny bit of wobble but it's absolutely fine and the last bit again another piece of off cut is just foam the edging at the bottom just for your head to go on once again and that is that it's taken ages to make and now i can totally understand why these helmets cost so much to make i've got the visor slightly off which i know but once you hot glue it in i started trying to cut away the hot glue it was ridiculous and it was really really difficult so i figured it's a first helmet it's off by a bit i don't really notice it and i'm happy with it but i've learned lots for if i ever do this again and the lessons learned are sanding everything as much as you can sanding the badge especially dry brushing on this takes forever and you can quickly just paint it over and then just put some brown paint in it and wipe it away but the paint effect here the black paint to make it all dirty is superb using mascol to get all those chips just makes it look amazing but you put in enough time and effort you can get this that's what it looks like I'm trying to do a pirouette of it so you can see it but that is it and it sits on your head and it works and i'm very very happy with it and i know there's other p videos of people showing how to do these on youtube but i just thought i'd put mine on as well and i hope you've liked it and i hope you learned something from it and yeah have a go yourself thank you for watching